Finally! Just bagged this cracking 46 pound, two ounce mirror. Eight foot, 10 inches. Eight, eight, nearly nine inches. foot. Probably 500, maybe 600 pounds. Beneath the surface of murky rivers and slow-moving streams lurk monsters that many thought never existed. These humongous fish and other creatures have been a mystery to many and have become the talk of legends, with some such creatures being attributed to the death of children, dogs, and even farm animals. While everyone knows not to swim in oceans from the fear of what lurks beneath the surface, it's different when it comes to rivers. Nobody expects a massive monster to lurk just inches beneath the surface, waiting to strike, but these animals are real. We've scoured the internet to find the largest and most monstrous creatures ever discovered in rivers. So get ready for the deep dive of your life. Let's explore the deadliest river monsters ever discovered, from massive behemoths to small but deadly predators. Texan Titan. There are few fish as legendary as the alligator gar. A gar with the mouth of a gator is surely something to behold, and this one almost surpassed the expectations of a die-hard fisherman. While fishing in the Trinity River, close to Dallas, this fisherman and his guide were trying to catch some flathead catfish when something much bigger made an appearance. Catching a catfish is one thing, but the way the line was being tugged hinted at something much bigger. When they snagged their catch, their eyes widened in amazement as what had been snagged was an alligator alligator gar with a length of approximately seven feet and weighing probably more than the fisherman himself. It was an almost too large hole, so in order to minimize the distress of the creature, the fisherman got into the water to unhook it. After securing the beast, they released it back into the waters, amused by their success and humbled by their luck. This shockingly massive river monster was lurking just feet beneath the surface and would have never been snagged if the fisherman hadn't been brave enough to try it. What's even more shocking is this is hardly the the largest gar ever caught, as these fish often reach 10 feet in length and weigh well over 300 pounds. Upper White River Monster. Finally! Ugh. Next, let's travel to Arkansas and talk about the river monster that was snagged in the Upper White River. Robert Murphy was out fishing for walleye in his kayak on a stretch of the Upper White River, but instead found himself in an hour-long battle with an ancient river monster. The massive fish was a spoonbill paddlefish, which is an ancient and rare species of fish that can grow up to well over 100 pounds. Not only that, but this particular monster weighed in at over 100 pounds and was approximately five feet long. Murphy had to spook the fish into deeper waters to keep it from fouling in nearshore brush. This was a total success, as the feat earned Murphy the unlikely catch. Though the fish wasn't the biggest spoonbill to be reeled in, with a state record of 118 pounds, 9 ounces, it was still quite a feat. This prehistoric and unique creature is indeed one to be feared and respected, and Murphy's successful catch should show people just what kind of monsters lurk in the depths of our rivers and lakes. The pre historic paddlefish might not be dangerous to humans, but it's lived in the waters of our rivers and streams for millions of years and deserves to be respected for such longevity. And you definitely wouldn't want it brushing up against your leg. Monstrous Catfish while many catfish caught just way normal amounts, some larger catfish are capable of shocking even the most experienced veteran of freshwater fishing. Just recently, Michael Worley of Fayetteville, Pennsylvania caught an ultra-monstrous flathead catfish in the Susquehanna River. This catfish was measured and weighed in Columbia Bait Shop, and it was officially recorded as weighing 66 pounds, 6 ounces, which is 10 pounds more than the previous state record. 50.25 inches long with a girth of 35 inches, this behemoth was a sight to behold and was released back into the river after being off the line for more than half an hour. Worley has claimed to have caught bigger different species of catfish in the past, but it's nice to know that this monstrous river monster still broke records. When fishermen catch something unexpected like this, it makes tales of river monsters more and more believable. The fisherman himself was shocked, simply saying he believed there were even bigger fish out there and that he intended to catch them. Main Monster 
Back in April of 2022, a fisherman in Maine caught something he never expected to find on his line. Pikes are relatively small fish, usually a few dozen inches at most, but within the river dwells an occasional monster. That's exactly what this fisherman snagged, and it measured a whopping 44 inches in length. This is only several inches shorter than the record, which gives us an idea of how large this fish was. While this is an impressively large catch for any river, the largest pike ever measured and confirmed was 59 inches, making this catch just over a foot shy of a world record. While this catch certainly put the fisherman's skill to the test, it also serves as a reminder of the size of creatures that can lurk in rivers, unseen, and awaiting a challenge. Who knows what monsters may still lurk in deep dark waters ready to be caught, while 44 inches might not seem that large at first when you consider that it's longer than half a queen bed in size, it's a different story altogether. If you can imagine this monstrosity lurking inches from your leg as you swim, it suddenly becomes much more intimidating. Baylor Behemoth the Brazos River flows through Texas, most notably through Waco and the Baylor University campus. But who would have expected that beneath this rather unassuming river was hiding a massive monster, one of the largest river monsters ever found? Evan Wolski made a day of it, fishing deep in the Brazos when he got something more than he bargained for. He couldn't believe his eyes when he pulled his catch from the waters. It was an incredibly large gar, probably one of the largest ever caught. After the photo was submitted to the Brazos River Authority, the internet had a field day compared this giant creature to all sorts of river behemoths caught in the past. In the same Facebook post, someone commented with a picture of themselves holding a large fish that looked similar to Evan's catch. It truly was a sight to behold, and a good reminder for Texans that swimming in the Brazos might not be as safe of a venture as one may think. Italy's Catfish I calmly managed to fight what I felt to be a prehistoric fish, said Alessandro Biancardi, who fought the massive 330-pound catfish he had caught in the Po River on May 25th. After several exhausting minutes, Biancardi's labor paid off, and he managed to reel in the fish, but he had no clue what he was getting into. When they laid the fish on the mat, Biancardi and his crew realized they had caught something special, a record-breaking fish measuring 9 feet 4 inches. This catfish beat the previous world record by over an inch and will surely remain one of the most impressive catches ever made in the Po River, if not the entire world. Not only did Biancardi beat the record, but he did it in an exemplary manner by wasting no time and immediately calling his friends to come to witness the momentous event. Could any other fisherman beat Biancardi's record? This monstrosity of a catfish had a mouth large enough to swallow a small child whole, making it one of the most feared and respected river monsters out there. Trinity River Monster Let's travel to Trinity River, a notoriously filth-ridden and dirty river in Dallas, Texas. It's no surprise that this river is commonly referred to as the River of Death, but Alberto Flores hopes to change that with his latest catch. Flores is a TikTok user who recently documented his journey to Trinity River in hopes of catching a monster alligator gar. After throwing in two pieces of fresh carp bait, Flores reeled in what can only be described as a real-life river monster. This monstrous fish was roughly as long as the man who caught it and put up quite the fight before Flores could bring it into shore. After snapping a few photos and having a good look at the alligator gar, Flores immediately released it back into the river. The video of all this has been viewed more than one million times and serves as proof that if you look beneath the surface, you never know what you'll find. Even in the murkiest and dirtiest of water, there's sure to be a creature lurking somewhere beneath the surface. Liam Kenny. What happens when you manage to reel in the largest stingray you've ever caught, only to realize you're out of your depth, both literally and figuratively? That's exactly what happened to one man in Perth, Australia, when he snagged a sizable stingray that was already half-eaten. It turns out, Liam Kenny had unknowingly discovered a monster, a predator so large that only one bite was apparently necessary to consume the hapless stingray. It's enough to give any fisherman pause. Could there be something even larger, much more dangerous, lurking below the water? waterline in this unsuspecting spot. With more and more river monsters being discovered as people brave the depths, it's very possible that the answer is yes. While the fisherman himself believes it was a gigantic bull shark, the truth is that no one can know for sure what may lurk in the turbid depths of this river and others like it. Whatever Liam Kenny found while fishing, it was scary enough to convince him that river monsters are real. Prehistoric Sturgeon Sturgeon right here. Yeah. Comes fishing once and catches the biggest fish in the river.
When two men, Steve Eklund and Mark Boise, decided to take a fishing trip with their friends, they had no idea the bounty they'd reel in. Under the guiding hands of Nick McCabe and Tyler Speed, they went to British Columbia in search of the rarest of catches, a sturgeon. What they ended up catching was an anomaly, a behemoth of a fish said to be 110 years old. The sturgeon was so massive it nearly sunk the boat. Video of the catch revealed a 10-foot-long, 700-pound fish that took quite a battle to land. This was surely the catch of the lifetime, with this huge and prehistoric river monster putting almost any other catch to shame. It was a truly immense feat of fishing, and made even more impressive by her age and size. It's moments like this that make fishing worth the time and effort, but also that remind you there's always something bigger in the river. No matter how large of a fish you've caught, the river still holds something bigger. 200 pound monster. Had a few nice catfish, 210 pound. Just bagged this cracking 46 pound, two ounce mirror. One British angler found himself outmatched when his line began tugging with the frantic motions of a much larger opponent. What happened next would shock even the most seasoned fisherman. By experience, he knew he was dealing with a catfish, and he stumbled his way back to his boat for what would be one of the most grueling battles of his career. For the next hour, he sailed downstream with the catfish slowly but surely, dragging him further and further south. Keeping his line tight, the British angler eventually reeled the beast in, finding that it exceeded expectations in both sides and weight. This humongous 222-pound catfish had taken the fisherman almost a half mile all the way down the river Ebro in Spain. This monster catfish would be the largest of its kind to be caught in the river and has made ordinary catches feel like a little of nothing in comparison. Despite the weight and size of the beast, the angler was still able to unhook and release the monster back to its spot in the river. In the end, it was a day well spent, although the fisherman claimed he nearly froze to death in the process. BC River Monster. This, uh, this fish is 10 and a half feet, probably 500, maybe 600 pounds. Let's venture to British Columbia, Canada, where a river is home to a monster so massive it made headlines around the world. Earlier this month, fishing guide Eves Beeson captured a gigantic 10-foot sturgeon in a British Columbia river. The humongous fish was estimated to weigh around 500 to 600 pounds and was tagged and released back into the river, unharmed. It's believed to be one of the largest sturgeon ever seen and proves that rivers are home to some truly epic creatures. These formidable fish are among the largest freshwater fish on Earth, as they can grow to measure more than 25 feet in length and can weigh up to 1.5 tons. While this massive sturgeon was a far cry from that size, it was still one of the largest caught in recent history. This huge fish put up a fight for hours, but the expert fishing guide eventually won out. We were just able to tag it, so it probably has never been caught, explained guide Yves Bisson as he marveled at the immense size of the most likely hundred-year-old creature. When rivers hold humongous creatures like this, it's clear that everyday fishing isn't the same. Pitch Black Gar. There are few river monsters as scary as the alligator gar, but what's one thing that can make these fish even scarier? Being pitch black. While fishing in a marsh in southeast Texas recently, anglers Justin Jordan and Terrell Maguire caught the impossible, a melanistic gar. While typically gray-green in color, this gar was instead jet black, making it an incredibly unique sighting. This color change was caused due to the overdevelopment of melanin in the fish's skin, a rare and recessive disorder. While stories of these pitch black gars have existed for a while, this is some of the first photographic evidence of the oddity. Jordan and Maguire were likely very fortunate to catch this rare beast and stunned that they reeled it in with ease. This goes to show that you never know what surprises lurk beneath the murky waters of a river, and this pitch black guard definitely shows that not all monsters are what you expect. Simply seeing this fish as you're swimming through a river could be enough to turn someone away from fishing or keep them out of natural rivers for a long while. Detroit River Monster Many prehistoric river monsters can leave for tens if not hundreds of years, and such was the case when a 100-year-old sturgeon was caught in the Detroit River. A team of American Fish and Wildlife Service scientists were on a routine mission to survey the sturgeon population when they caught a surprise. This monster fish had a length of 6 feet 10 inches and a weight of 240 pounds, which made it way bigger than the previous record holder. It turns out that it was at least a centenary old, judging from the 4-inch white growth on 
on its head. The scientists released the fish back into the river and took a picture with it as an incredible reminder of a rare catch. The secrets of the depths of our rivers are slowly unveiling themselves, and the monsters in them still surprise us. This sturgeon in particular managed to shock and surprise even the most experienced of the biologists, and it took three of the crew to even pick up the fish. One of the crew members can be seen lying side by side with the fish, its body far longer than hers. A rare and extraordinary catch. Such a centenary monster is proof of how powerful our fast-flowing rivers are. Two catfish. Usually, records are broken by river monsters are broken few and far apart, as these fish are rare due to their massive sizes. But as luck would have it, two fishermen had the luck of catching two massive catfish within a week of each other, both breaking state records. Rocky Baker landed a 127-pound, one-ounce blue catfish on the Roanoke River, which measured 60 inches in length, a record for the state of North Carolina. Just a week later, Tanner Rudolph caught a 26-pound channel catfish on the News River, beating a 50 old state record. These monstrous catches are no small feat, and it's amazing that they were caught within such a short time frame. These fishermen must have been overjoyed to be able to break state records, pulling in such large river monsters as these. It's hard to tell what they were feeling when they landed the two catfish, but it's safe to say they were definitely excited. To find such massive creatures lurking in rivers and channels is a reminder of how little we know about what lurks beneath the surface. So don't go swimming in rivers unprepared. Cow shark. While river monsters have been caught by everyone everywhere, there's one man who needs homage for being the first to document them, none other than Jeremy Wade, the man behind Animal Planet's river monsters. Recently, Wade caught one of the biggest fish in show history, a 14-foot long, six-gill cow shark. This species of shark is rarely seen on camera, and what makes it even more special is it is more closely related to extinct fossil species of shark than any living species today. There were also other catches in the episode, but this was undoubtedly the principal catch that put everything else to shame. Finding a cow shark of that size in a river is truly unbelievable. These large creatures are just another reminder that our environment is full of dangers that lurk in the depths of our rivers, making any dive into the waters adventurous. Discovering these freaky creatures can be exciting and sometimes even scary. It's just another reminder that the things that lurk beneath the surface can be unpredictable and that one has to take extra precautions when entering a river or a stream.